All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone watching the Breakthrough Deliverance Hour. I greet you in the name of Jesus. It's good to be coming to you via television. I know you have been richly blessed over the weeks with our broadcast, and I know today you're going to be even more blessed. Praise God. Good to be back with you. I want to thank Pastor Eric Box for standing in for me while I was away doing the Father's will. Amen. And so today we have a powerful message lined up for you. We're declaring the blood of Jesus over your life. And of course we're using the blood of Jesus as a weapon to destroy every forces of darkness that is coming up against you. Every demonic attack and everything that the enemy is throwing at you. We're going to confuse the enemy and of course destroy the enemy with the blood of Jesus. My God, today we had a great and powerful service and we want to take it to you. And we want to bless you as you watch. And we feel that somebody's life is about to change. Every demonic force in your house, around you, uh, in your body will be delivered today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. We want to remind you that we're having a great time in Fasting Deliverance Mega Service right here in Mandeville on a Monday, Portmore. Uh, we're at 18 Tradeway Street. Um, in Portmore and we want you to come and join us also we're having a great time in war room Thursday every Thursday night we have deliverance miracle service in Portmore seven o'clock and we want you all to come and be blessed our tent revival is on and you can listen for further information praise God we're gonna be having a great time in our tent revival in Portmore Portmore invasion and we want you to come and be with us and the power of god is going to change your life forever praise god we invite you to continue to sow and to give into this ministry while you are being blessed through the work that we're doing we have our chair fund going on and of course you can sow a seed for a chair for a soul so a chair for a soul you give five thousand dollars for a chair and of course we're saving a soul to sit on that chair so we want you to come on board and sow and be blessed amen the numbers are coming on the screen you can lock that fund into the account and watch the lord bless you richly all right we're going to go into the service already in progress and we're going to come back and tell you lots more but right now we want you to bl be blessed with a blood coverage deliverance in jesus name let's go to worship we'll be right back 32 lashes ripped his skin out and his blood flow hallelujah they drive nails in his hands and feet and his blood flow yes. they put a crown of thorns on his head and his blood begin to flow from his brain cells Mm, somebody praise God hallelujah. 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 hallelujah 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 Jesus have mercy mm, praise God and so I heard a song man put it together and he said when I survey Callum hallelujah praise the name of jesus hallelujah and say his blood will carry me all the way oh somebody not talking to me hallelujah hallelujah his blood will carry me I don't need no other blood no other blood I'm coming I'm coming mm, no other blood can heal my broken body no, no other blood yes no other blood Oh, no other 
my blood can conquer death and set my spirit free oh but I'm so glad Jesus precious blood still flows from Calvary I'm here to tell you today why I'm going through all of this is there is one man named Jesus his blood has no type his blood is efficacious his blood fits everybody his blood carry no pressure his blood don't go high or low his blood is always ready to deliver can I feel somebody here his blood is a weapon why because it has power somebody talk to me and anybody drink that blood anybody get injected with the blood of Jesus become supernaturally dangerous is there any Anybody in here who want to become supernaturally dangerous? Not with man blood, not with skull blood, not with pigeon blood, not with puss blood. Uh, can I preach it like a feeling? There is a fountain filled with blood. John, John, John. From Emmanuel's vein, and if you take a dip in that blood, you will lose all. Somebody talking to me, touch your neighbor, say, Neighbor, I don't want to touch you, but I'm under the blood, so excuse me for a minute while I deal with my situation. I don't know about you, but there is power in the blood of Jesus. And whatever I'm going through all I need is to get bloody all I need to signal heaven and say Lord wash me in your blood cover me Jesus under your blood somebody holler the blood somebody say the blood now I want you to say devil I have a weapon today and I'm about to use it to mess you up you have been messing me up with all your evil blood and your evil plans now today is my day to reverse the order because I have a weapon in my hand it is the blood of Jesus and I'm gonna use this blood as my weapon because I'm about to get a breakthrough and I feel power in the blood. Jesus' blood is your remedy. Somebody sitting on me because you don't like the blood. But if there's anybody who know there is power in the blood of Jesus, pull out your weapon. Get ready to war with the blood. In the blood. Use the blood. Can I preach power in the blood? He never shed it for nothing at all. You got it to use. I feel God. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm about to use my blood weapon to kill a demon. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. They use oil. They use powder. They use cynic. They use evil. They send bat, they send scorpion, they send lizard, they send wallipa, all kind of things to take you down. But lift up your hand and fling it back and walk back. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus is against you. Lucifer, demons, devils, the blood. The blood is my weapon. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Send it. Let it go. The blood. The blood of Jesus is my weapon. Y'all got your 
your weapon and you're using it you're getting human substitute or oh, some of you if you check your house you have some things hang up in there using in there uh, can I talk to somebody but you need nothing but the blood of Jesus I feel the Holy Ghost I feel the Holy Ghost nothing can stand against the blood of Jesus can I preach it like I feel it you need a weapon get the blood get under the blood show the blood dash the blood send the blood anywhere you want it reach it will reach if a foreign it will reach if America Canada England Europe Jamaica Roy, send it the blood the blood the blood the blood Jesus is against you I'm giving you a weapon well you didn't know what you got you have the blood it is your weapon somebody holler I plead the blood of Jesus over every problem affecting my body blood transfusion blood deliverance blood breakthrough blood blood the blood the blood the blood of Jesus is against gonna be a bloody day somebody said bloody day bloody day you got your weapon you just not using it the fountain is filled everybody can draw say excuse me neighbor I'm gonna draw my weapon I feel the Holy Ghost inside here today get your weapon use it against the foe that are against you get bloody you don't need no knife. You don't need no gun. You don't need no hobia. You have a weapon that is powerful. It carries power, power, power. The blood of Jesus have power to deliver you from all evil. Is there anybody here being attacked by evil? Blood it up. Blood them up. Blood them up. Blood them up. Blood, blood, blood. The blood of Jesus. it you got power you just not using it you have a weapon you just not using it everybody else is using their weapon against you all demonic forces they have a weapon that they're using against you you don't believe me many of these demonic forces I said they have weapons that they're using against you uh oh physically huh they use things they put things in your food things in your juice uh oh uh oh can I preach many folk are controlled in their belly in their minds in their head because of that which they have consumed that the enemy has poured into their touch your neighbor says time to pour back in their cup in their dinner lunch and breakfast say neighbor 
I'm going to tip the blood. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm going to drop the blood. And if I can't catch them to drop it in there, I just going to dash it. I just going to plead. I just going to declare the blood of Jesus is against the demon. Rivers! I'm blood you up. Hey. The blood has power. Go ahead, brother. That's it. You don't want to believe this. That's it. And it never when you you kill an animal and you leave the blood and you go back later it curgle up then it gets stink and rotten hello oh. but the blood of Jesus many many years ago he shed that blood and today in this house that blood still have power to deliver every situation. I'm teaching you, you ain't getting it. Why, Pastor Box, would I go and use any other blood? <laughs> when there is one blood, no matter how much you use it, it can't finish. Can't done. And no matter how long it has been shed, it still is alive and well, and it has power. Woo. Feel the blood. Feel the blood. Give him glory. Ah. I wonder why this is so. It is simply because the blood of Jesus is divine blood. And because God is divine, then his blood is divine. Can I teach you somebody? Because God is eternal, his blood is eternal. I don't know who would want to use this blood. Yeah, somebody praise God. Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. John 1.14 uh, So the blood of Jesus avails for everything imaginable if we are going to experience the power in the blood of Jesus we have to personally apply it to our lives and our situation it's the application that's going to bring through the deliverance you got to apply the blood to your situation uh oh somebody ain't talking to me I said it is the application then of the blood into your situation like for instance when you go to the doctor and you get a medication to take and if you don't apply the medication whether it is it is oral or it is um what you call it use it outside or inside you have to apply it right if you want the result you got to apply the medication are you with me now jesus gave us a medication uh, one that has supernatural power and all he says to do is use it for your situation and you're going to get a revelation what he's saying therefore is that there is nothing or nobody so powerful so anytime you apply the blood over any situation it supersedes everything else are you with me? Are you with me? Somebody praise God. So lift your hands and say, Lord, fill my cup, fill my bucket, load my drum with the blood. I got some demons to kill. I got some devils to wipe out. And now I need my weapon. I feel the Holy Ghost. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Lord, for that blood that was shed. I'm ready to use it. Feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. So we apply the blood of Jesus by decree. So I decree and declare that the blood of Jesus is my weapon. 
Uh, somebody ain't talking to me. Oh, the devil is getting mad right now because somebody is getting ready to kill something because you're just getting ready to know what you can use. <laughs> I feel God. Can somebody praise him? Somebody praise him. Uh, so you, you be, decree and declare means you open your mouth and you begin to decree it from your mouth. Now, I know some of you are just waiting for a lineup for a special prayer. Because that's all some, some people come for, a special prayer. Oh, God. But one of the things I recognize, that deliverance is much easier when people can stand up and decree and declare from their own mouth. Not Reverend Stuart Pryor, but your own faith building your mind and your, 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 your tenacity to overcome your situation depends on your own tapping into the blood power. I can pray for you and send you home. But when you get home, there's some demons at home and I am not at your home but when you walk in that house and say devil you're a liar today I come home with the blood and whatever is inside my bedroom whatever is inside my bathroom I'm gonna there's power in it demons tremble when you plead the blood don't be off the runway witchcraft of the excuse when you're powered up with the blood of Jesus if you just open your mouth and look at some people can I preach it like a feeling sometimes I hear something dropping on my spirit God said if it tells some of you who's been hiding from some people who trying to kill you with science destroy you with hope yeah. pay them a visit pay them a visit look them in the face and say can't touch this because I'm covered and if you think you're bad go one more time mess with me one more time if you think me free get. watch the revelation box this is what the Lord said to me they come to you with physical weapon they challenge you with man-made weapon they come at you with graveyard weapon demonic weapon but I hear God said to tell you that which you possess is supernatural they can't touch it they can't see it but they can feel it it has did you hear what I just said I said they can't see it they can't touch it but they sure are gonna feel it because when you send it it's like fire I feel the Holy Ghost it will burn it will destroy it will kill them are you ready neighbor stop running from your enemies stop hiding from them look them in the face anywhere you see them and when they open them out to talk against you just say the blood of Jesus with some aggression the blood of Jesus is against you fire with the blood of Jesus die with the Therefore, it means many of us is walking with a weapon. It's not a gun in our ways. It's not a battle or a vial in our hat or in our chest or in our wherever you carry it. But we have a weapon that we don't carry in a bag. Oh, you don't carry in your shoes. It just follows you. And anytime you need it, you just stop in anytime you desire of it you just stop in anytime you attack you just grab it load your bucket and dash it ah. weapon what 
the Holy Ghost is saying to me, but the box is that there are many people who are in the uh, the prophetic realm. They ain't teaching people these things. I'm going to teach you some stuff. I'm going to help the church. So help me God. Many people who come, whatever you're going to tell them, they have to pay you. It looks like I'm crazy because I'm building people's faith and telling them great supernatural things and I ain't charging them nothing. So why do people say I'm not real? But the people who you got to pay is the ones who are real. Hear the Lord is saying. <laughs> Once you're in connection and close proximity to Jesus. Once you're a friend of Jesus, he bequeaths you with that weapon. Because you better know there are some battles he will fight for you. But there are some battles that he will help you to fight. And if God's going to help you to fight battles, you can't use Saul's weapon. You're going to have to use what God gives you. Ah, oh, feel the Holy Ghost. Can I teach? What God is saying, when a science man or a false prophet gives you something to use, it is their weapon, not yours. So you're actually using what they use to get the result they get. Yeah. And many times it's not what God wants you to use to get your result. Yeah. But what God is saying to me is there is one uh, universal weapon yeah, that everybody can use and get the same result. Yeah. It is not Mark Stewart's uh, weapon, but it is God's weapon that he gives to everyone who tap into the anointing. I uh, feel like teaching somebody, but you don't want to. Can I teach you somebody? Yeah. So all you got to do is find the fountain for yourself. Uh, there is something else the Holy Ghost is telling me. If I have to give you, I might not give you enough that you need to fight your battle. I might give you enough for today. But when tomorrow comes, you might run out of it. I'm teaching somebody here. Can I talk to somebody? Uh, many of these folk, they will give you enough for you to come back and get some more. They will put a price tag on it and so you can't afford it so you suffer in your situation. Because anytime you can't afford that which man gives you, you're going to end up suffering longer. I feel like preaching. So like the woman with the issue every time she went out to try everything it might work for a little while but it ran out and she keeps going for more but when she touched Jesus somebody praise God when she touched Jesus somebody holler Jesus because of the blood power that possessed Jesus, then virtue left him. I feel the Holy Ghost. In other words, the blood delivered her. Even when it's not flowing, it has deliverance. Uh, somebody in praise in God. So touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't want nobody to help me right now. So excuse me, you can't help me because I'm going to tap in to the blood of Jesus. I'm going to fill my own bucket. I'm going to bring my drama. I feel like talking to somebody. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you can't bad mind me now. Because if you know one deep, I feel your business. Because it is full for everybody. You know some bad mind people, if you go before them, them feel say no now go left. So them try to stop you, to get in front of you. But nobody has to go before nobody because it is so much blood that everybody can get any amount you want for your deliverance. No weapon form that Woo! somebody praise God <sighs> so now let me touch down because I, you got to help yourself today make sure you have your weapon the blood of Jesus it's by decree 
we confess it so the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel are you with me the blood of Jesus can speak destruction upon your enemies I thought somebody would have showed right there because for a long time you've been wondering how am I going to fight my enemies when they're trying to kill me with everything they got and I'm here to tell you today all you need is some blood power are you with me it can bring healing to your body protection over your family the blood of Jesus brings life to you it is life another thing I need to teach you about the blood the blood is life amen blood is life when somebody get in an accident or whatever what they require the family to do is come and give blood because blood is life and the more blood you pump in the body is the more that person able to live if there's no blood they're going to die are you with me so why do you think evil works why do you think evil uh, abides around us and and you see demonic force and devils and family member rising up in their doppy farm against you it's because when people brings blood to graveyard and invoke spirit it comes alive because blood brings life so a man can believe and bring a, a, a animal blood to, to, to a graveyard and, and dig a hole and pump that blood in the graveyard and begin to do whatever they do and a demon's race. One of the reasons why Jamaica is in the predicament that it's in is that many of the people who die in freak accidents and all kind of stuff didn't just die so. They are sacrificed. Because what many of these dark demonic force do they use even their children as sacrifice they use their family as sacrifice and so when the blood shed the demon is fed and when the demonic force is fed it come alive against you uh, somebody ain't talking to me so what you have to do is fight blood with blood ah! Somebody didn't hear what I just said. I said it's time to fight blood with blood. But the difference about you and I today is that we're in a church and you don't see no goat walking around. You don't see no pigeon flying around. You don't see no fowl flying around. Can I talk to somebody? Some of you gone to sleep. Can I preach you like I feel it? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. You don't need none of that. The blood is flowing all over. You just got to bucket it. You just got to catch it and get ready to use it and declare and decree. I got my weapon and the weapon of my warfare is not carnal, but it's mighty through God for the pulling down. I got some stronghold in my life. I feel like using the blood. It's blood against blood. Jesus' blood against every other blood. Can I preach it? Somebody get strength. Hold your weapon. Lift up your spirit. Get attacking. You two chickening. Get like eagle. Pull your weapon and declare war time. This means, this means, this means blood against blood, blood against blood. blood. Somebody get ready. Somebody said, Deliver me with the blood of Jesus. So there is power in the blood. Lift your hands and said, I am healed. I am delivered in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood. Yes, 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 yes. Give him 60 seconds. Come on, let it work, let it work. Open your belly. Open your mouth. Praise him. Oh, somebody belching. Somebody getting ready to pass out some devils. Somebody getting ready to be cleaned up. Somebody getting ready to be loose. Somebody getting ready to vomit. I bring up your demons out of your belly. I nullify your infection. I curse that which is planted in you. Vomit it out. Let it out. 
with the blood of Jesus. Somebody's been cleaned up right now. Open your mouth. Shout glory. Oh, I feel the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. Oh, my, there's so much to share with you. I know you have already been blessed. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over everyone watching. We declare a blood coverage, a blood deliverance by your spirit and your power. We pray, God, that people will begin to plead the blood, use the blood, and declare the blood of Jesus. We pray for blood coverage in our nation, over our world, over our community, over every individual, our church, our workplaces our lives our family our children we decree and declare the mighty powerful efficacious blood of jesus to cover release and deliver god's people we pray right now somebody who's been under attack that the blood will be a weapon to destroy every forces of darkness in the mighty full name of jesus holy ghost fire use the blood to destroy and to set at liberty those who are bound right now in jesus name i see somebody been delivered delivered with the mighty blood of Jesus Christ no other blood no other blood no other force no other weapon is more powerful than the blood of Jesus we want you to use it and we want you to be blessed by it and be delivered by the blood of Jesus I want to remind you that convention is coming up and that's the 17th of next month and that's going to be of this month sorry yeah we're in the new month right yeah of this month and that's going to be in Portmore at our mega church center right there at tradeway street down from max's and across from captain right there at the highway going um to the to the highway you'll see the big red building you can't miss it it's right there at the bus stop heading off to the highway you can't miss that place huge red building upstairs we're there the power of god is moving and we want you to join us with for a blood coverage deliverance you see i started today and we're going right into this month it's gonna be bloody blood for blood in jesus name so we want you to come in your red something red something bloody it's gonna be an awesome time the 17th nine o'clock you gotta be there right in portmore all right so remember to join us for uh, war room thursday fasting and deliverance monday and tuesday and of course this morning sunday morning mandeville we're going to be having baptism and tomorrow also we're going to be having baptism right here in mandeville so come and be blessed and watch god work miracles in your life god bless you god be with you and the deliverance power of god be over your life through the blood of jesus god bless you bye-bye